Hello everyone! Flying solo today, since Zappa has his new work schedule, but we're gonna try to see if we can squeeze him in at some point. Zappa, if you're watching this, hope to see what's this again soon. Um, so we did part of this map before, and I was gonna post that video and then just kind of like pick up where we left off in a second video, but that video was trash. There was there was the the reset that happened at one point uh, because I forgot to do something, and then the game just crashed at one point. Like like the emulator just straight up shit shut down, and I had nothing to do with it. And then there was a third time I loaded a state instead of saving a state. Because we were trying to save states, or at least use in-battle saves, to, um, just in case the emulator shut down again. And I loaded state and lost my progress. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's where we're at, so I'm just like, screw it. I'm just gonna do the whole thing over again. Which, it, it, I didn't spend that long on it, it was just the fact that I did it like three times. <laughs> What's one more time gonna hurt, though? Okay, so I'm not going to bother showing you the upgrades, because I forgot what I upgraded anyway. It was mostly like Getter Team stuff, and I think some Methus. And I got rid of some pilots, because there's there's just a bunch of people I'm not going to use. There's no sense in sorting them. Okay, let's go. Hey, Bob, how's it going? <clears throat> Brian says that they still won't can't reach the general staff office, so they'll just have to go there in per person. Amor agrees. If they don't know how the battle's going, they can't really play any strategy. I gotta remember, it's not it's uh, Dick, not not Ring. Ring asks if that means that they're going to Earth. It bright answers that they will head for Chopro. As they near Earth, <laughs> Dada and Amu comment on how beautiful Earth is. Kyo says it's just like Koam, their home planet. Dada then knows that Lilith is gone, but Kyo says she's just helping with the cooking. In the kitchen, Lena asks Lilith to hold some tube, but Christina says she can't take her hand off something else. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. <laughs> Afterwards, Lena asks Lilith to taste the food, and Lilith says it's missing something. Dick then comes in to see what they're doing. Uh, Lena asks him to taste as well, and Dick says he doesn't know anything about food. It's all the same. Lena says uh, uh, she wouldn't have expected that, and Dick says that people used to laugh at him. Uh, for putting mayonnaise on curry. Ugh, that's so gross. Ugh. However, Lena says that shows exceptional sense. Dick tells her he doesn't have, uh, she doesn't have to make fake compliments. He says that he shouldn't be cooking, or she says that he shouldn't be so cooking ignorant forever. I, again, I have to change out some of the he, the, the she's for he's because uh, the author of this translation guide used uh, a female protagonist. So, uh, if I, if I mix up, if, if I say ring or her, that's why. So he shouldn't be so cooking ignorant forever, though. And says that uh, he wants to learn to cook as well. Lance's surprised that Dick doesn't know how to cook. Dick says he hasn't uh, needed to know uh, up to now because there have always been other people to make it for him. But a soldier should be able to cook his own food. Lena agrees to show him how. Uh, after dinner, Keith comments on how much better regular food is than sea rations. He then notices that Ko is staring at his carrots, and tells him to just buck up and swallow them in one bite. But Lena th thinks he should build up to it gradually, starting with carrot cake. Ugh. Carrot cake is worse. I'd rather just have carrots. Nina says that they're all just babying him, and Kyo is mumbling something, and Amu scolds him for talking with his mouth full. Beecho wonders why Ellie didn't help with the food, and Ellie snaps back that she was helping Nina and Mora with the mech repairs. Beecho didn't mean to be rude, he just wanted to eat Ellis cooking. But then he changes the subject and asks Judah why he's being so distant. Judah is worried about the colony. Eno says that shangri seemed to be the only one that got attacked, and wonders why that is. Uh, just a minute. We gotta get caught up here. Uh, Battle 4, Cold-Hearted Terrorist. This is a lot longer than I thought it was. Just a second, okay. <clears throat> Eno says that the Shangri-La seem to be the only one that got attacked, and wonders why that is. Amuro agrees that it's odd, that there's no military base in Shangri-La or anything like that. But Eno says that in any case, they don't seem to have their attentions on the colonies at the moment. It's the Earth that's in danger. Bright then says that they'll be entering the atmosphere soon, so everyone should make their preparations. However, just then, Fa says that there's an unidentified enemy approaching. Switch to the battle map. Okay. So, I basically got rid of, like, all the... the the double Zeta jobbers. 
nobody's worth taking except for Judal. Uh, I got rid of Keith. Um, got rid of Bernie. And basically, by, to do that, I just... I kept putting, uh... I think his name's Eno. And, uh... Because he's level one, he'd be easy to recognize. I kept putting him in their mech so that they'd get kicked out. And just kept repeating it until, like, a bunch of mechs were emptied and he was just in one. And then, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about the order here, so... Well... Yeah, not the way I wanted it. I wish it would show me where everything's getting, uh, deployed. But we'll just have to live with it. <clears throat> Bright is surprised to only see one unit, the Wing Gundam. I'm gonna recognize it as the same mech from before. Hero says that this time, for certain, he will destroy Londo Bell. Yeah, then it says that the radar is picking up interference and a number of DC units appear. Oi? The hell? Hang on. Something was going on. Never heard my computer beeping. Was that the controller? This controller cable is getting awful touchy. Nope, it's, uh... I was right, it is, uh... Stream, god damn it. <sighs> Here, pause the recording. Well, pause the recording for a sec. Alright, alright, we're back. <clears throat> Sorry, it, it, it was it was uh, the stream that crapped out. Uh, see, Nina then says the radar is picking up interference, and a number of DC units appear. Oh, wait. How's if I actually pick the window instead of uh, OBS? Gadzooks! Mashimir, the leader of the troops, tells Londo Bell to prepare themselves for defeat in the name of Haman Khan. Go and go. Got. Gotten? <laughs> Zappa told me how to pronounce it before, but I forget. Gotten go. Go. Whatever. Get and go. <laughs> Interrupts him to point out to the Wing Gun's presence. He wonders if it's a new Londo Bell mag, but Mashmir doesn't think so because it's not sending out the right signal. Gotten thinks that in any case it looks like a Gundam, so it's probably an enemy. However, Mashamir, uh, I kept forgetting the press program. Mashamir is sure that is a stalwart young man who supports the ideals of DC and has come he heroically to fight the he Lando Bell. He must be due to Haman's radiant inf influence. He introduces himself to Hero and praises him for his for his adherence to their glorious ideals and his bravery for fighting Lando Bell. If they work together, they will beat the enemies for ha Haman's glory. Hero doesn't answer. Uh, let's get to that point. Hey. Mashmere thinks that he has been stunned to silence by his moving speech, but then Hero tells him to get out of his way and leave. Mashmere isn't sure he heard right. Hero repeats it again. Get lost. He has no time for DC grunts. His target is Londo Bell. Mashmere is incensed. Even though he's just a kid, Mashmere will destroy him. Gunton isn't sure, but Mashmere reminds him of what Haman said. That today's youth needs strict punishment. Meanwhile, Torres says it doesn't look like the Wing Gundam is in the DC forces, since they're having an argument. Bryce says that no matter what, they're both enemies. Okay. Now, we gotta make sure that... Let's see. Let's see, your movement was six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Let's get Getter Team in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That puts them in range, so that's, uh... That's the area we're working with. Do you have Excel? No. Who even are you? Oh, you're Emma.
Get going, you. Uh, I guess... Uh, Cow and Co, sure. Why not? Switch you to mobile armor mode. Armor, get out of there. I always get which of the heavy metals is uh, Dabu. He would be this one. And okay. Okay, as long as we don't bring, bring him below 50%, we're fine. Now, Cal. Okay, it's 5,700. Uh, we don't want to be incinerated, so... Oh, he's going to punch him. It's fine. We need to get some distance on him anyway. Or just, just move some distance. I don't know. I can't talk. Whatever. Dumb. Go, man. Wow, that was crap. Might be okay. I mean, we're gonna take some damage, but nothing that the messes can't fix. I mean, they are beam weapons, right? It'd be really stupid if they weren't. Yeah, they're beams. Although that is really fucking powerful. I can't help but feel like I'm playing a fire here. I gotta get this thing weak enough to... where a getter team can kill it, no problem. So let's hit it with a bazooka. God damn it! You guys' attack power sucks. Why is this armor so high? It's crap. Just when fighting stats makes an enemy boring. Come on, you can do better than that. On one hand, I'm worried this is going to do too much damage. On the other hand, I thought the other attacks would do much more damage than they actually did. Well, if we drive them away, we drive them away. And the first, the first run of this uh, that I scrapped, 
uh, he got away because I underestimated just how much damage Gator Team would do. I can afford to hit him a little bit more. I'm going through a lot of trouble just for like 3,000 bucks. I think it is. But hey man, money's money. No, you can't shoot for him. <laughs> this is a poor idea. Can you even hit? You have a decent chance of hitting. Can you use the beam rifle that close? Yeah, you can. Why the fuck does that thing not have any minimum range? Boo. Uh, not far enough for auto for the 90 mil. This is gonna hurt so bad. Does anyone have flash? Kiao is concentrate, but he can't get over there. Uh, Fa, you don't hit. No. Let's heal other. God, you need XP. It's it's not worth it, is it? Your armor's just too high. Yeah. That... Well, we've pretty much hit it with everything we can, unless. We want to get her murdered. Is there is there a will requirement for the rifles? Nope. I mean, she'll probably live, but it's not even a great chance to hit. She's not going to be as strong as Dabu. His melee is higher than her shoot. And he did that little bit of damage, and the rifle's not that much stronger. It's pointless. Well, all we can do is just try. Attacks back. If it's not used up, we'll just save it for next time. Let's hype up. I think that's what made the difference last time. Or what would have made the difference, I should say. Um, you can't do anything else, so we might as well use that on you. Okay, we used Flash. Right, that's that's the money one. So that means so that's uh, valor. That's sure hit. All right, getter team, let's go. <clears throat> Just try. 
That's all I can ask. Got him. That will makes a difference. Uh, he, he, he's basically saying, I'll get you next time, Gadget. And plus, it was over uh, two levels, so why not? Let's see if all these idiots go for Amro. Quite a few of you need levels. Uh, hang on. Cow. Okay, good. We got enough. How far can this asshole shoot? He doesn't have any beam weapons, but he does have a bazooka, which is worse for us. Three to five. One, two, three, four, five. He's out of range. Alright, let's beat up these dorks. Even if they hit, they're not going to do much. They're Zakus. And the Bazooka will do a decent bit, but... Oh yeah, the Heat Hawk. It does, like, nothing. I should play this, like the actual song during the intermission sometime. It's great. It's so fucking 80s. I mean, you can just tell from the tune. It's, uh, I think Henrique said it during the last stream, where the, the music, he's never heard it, but the music sounds really nostalgic. And it's a, it's a good call, because this is from the 80s. One of you is bound to get hurt eventually. Yeah, it, it just sounds like... It, it sounds old, right? <laughs> but of that shit, here's the winner. Ko's a winner. This thing is basically just a, a big roll of tin foil with with a uh, uh, jetpack strapped to it. Its armor is such shit. It goes super fast. In fact, as far as I know, I think it has the highest movement in the game. Silly among mobile suits. And if you give him a cell, he just flies across the freaking map. That's because most of the mech is is uh, Vernier thrusters. Alright, Chris, get a little bit of XP. It's not much, but it's something. Yeah, only 22 experience. It's really not worth it. Oh, 
Only Cone needs a tiny bit. Because, of course, Cone would get hit. Oh, yeah, these dorks. I forgot about them. Whatever you're doing, you're dead. That's... No. I am not acknowledging your attack. Screw you. <laughs> you make me sad. Why would you go after the Alex? Our best pilot is in the Alex. Why would you bother? You literally had a 0% chance even before I chose to dodge. Why? You're supposed to pick on the weakest unit. That'd be the, the Gundam or the, the GPO-1, not the Alex with... The Alex... Is the Alex weaker than the Gundam? Maybe they don't care about the pilot. They just care about the mech. Maybe the Alex is the is the weaker one just because the Gundam actually has two levels of upgrades on everything. Sweet, come get it. Dork. You're gonna beat me with a glow stick. They're called heavy metals for a reason. Their armor's pretty decent. Oof! I don't know, man. At least early on, these heavy metals are pretty good. Like, even the jobbers are good. Did the Dom's on the right move? I wasn't paying attention. Did they? What level are they? Eh, I can't tell. Dom, you're only level 9. I could just send you over to murder all of them. Here, just get out here and wiggle your butt at them. You'll be fine. Oh, poor Emma has to go so far. <laughs> okay, you're eight. You could, you could, could at least provide some XP. Hit him with the ninety mil. God damn it, Amaro! <laughs> Why you kill the bastard? He cruised at the wrong time. Well, shoot. Literally. Seriously, the way this thing is portrayed in in 0080, you would think the 90 mil Gatling is like one of the most devastating weapons ever. It just rips apart shit. It just doesn't not give a shit about armor. Not in range of anything, fuck. Except for the Zakus, but who cares? Mm. Come over and saw this boy. Actually, you could just come over here and just start wiggling your butt in their general direction. You can't get over there, right? Yeah, you're fine. I'm just gonna leave the Zakus alone. What are they gonna do? They'll get counterattacked and killed.
I mean, if Dom's aren't hurting us, what the hell is a Zaku going to do? Here, shoot them. Zaku will actually be able to hurt the Troy horse. By the way, I found out... Uh, it's no wonder this thing looks weird, and I mistook it for the Argama, and I thought it looked weird for the white base. Uh, can I call it the Troy horse? It really is something called a Troy horse. Um, it's not it's not a mistranslation of Trojan horse. So even that did nothing. And the Troy horse's armor sucks. So I don't know how many games it appears in, but the, this is the Troy horse, not the white base, not the Argama. I thought it looked right for the Argama, but it didn't look right for the white base, so I was like, eh. It is the Troy horse. What's the name of the of the carrier in uh, 0083? I want that one to be in, in one of the games. That'd be sweet. Although I imagine 0083 is never going to be in a SRW game again. Sad. Very sad times. <laughs> Just ignore the Zaku's. <laughs> hey, the weapons aren't that great in the first place, and their pilots are shit. Combine them together, they're, they're not gonna do dick. If a decent number of them swarm the Troy horse, maybe. But other than that, no. Excuse me! Did. That's a crit. Wasn't counting on that, but that's okay. I, I'd be very surprised if she killed this. It's probably do about a thousand. Eh, twelve hundred dollar crit. That's about right. <laughs> Guys, it it didn't work during the one year war. It's not going to work now, even with Chris at the helm. Really wasn't worth it for the XP. I should have just said Foss shoot something. Oh. Well. I gotta remember about Dabu up here. Maybe they'll do me a favor and actually attack him. Can they even get in range? Why? Sure. <laughs> even Ko has a good chance to dodge. And Ko's a dork. My beloved dork, though. Ko, pretend he's a carrot. <laughs> what are you going for? Why? No, I'm... No. <laughs> Somebody else can get some XP from... Uh, actually get some decent XP from that. I don't know get close to nothing. 
to hear him. Wog! That was accurate as an orc, too. Like, if the Zakus were going to shoot him, I would just let him go. Sure. She might actually kill it, just even though her shooting is terrible. But the Zaku is so crap, there's a chance. What did you expect, dude? The Metis is getting all the upgrades. Good job, Fa! I'm so proud of you. To be fair to her, she's the only active pilot after the Grips conflict. So, kudos to her. Has to single-handedly defend the uh, Argama from a bunch of uh, Neo Zeon jerks. Uh, let's see. Oh boy, I'm going to murder all of you. Yeah, you don't have concentrate. Why don't you have concentrate? Psycho. Well, whatever. I'll kill all of you anyway. After this turn, I'll have him move. I should have just gone ahead and done that, but whatever. Can't move far enough. Let's fuck this thing up. I'm a fire and a laser! Go away. Now, Brad, will you please raise a level finally? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, time to go beat up some fools. So much damage to Marissa I can do. If you couldn't figure it out, Marissa is just a, a play on the word samurai. So I just got the Kabuto helmet. enough for Chris to finish him off. I really want to get her to 9 for Concentrate. I don't think she had Concentrate in 3, and Concentrate can make any meh pilot into pretty decent.
Hmm. I'll play it safe. I know people like Gallant Shar, but I am so sick of this tune. Because that's all I heard from any of the mobile suits in SRW3. Every single mobile suit used Gallant Shar. There we go, add a girl. Okay, we don't want the team moving up too far. These two might do some shooting, and that's okay. That's about as far as we're willing to go. Is anybody hurt? Not really? It's not worth bothering. Shoot him, fa. Whatever. It's fine. Nobody's gonna get XP from this thing anyway. She critted too. Right through the reactor. You don't need to move too far because you just fucking rocket around anywhere, everywhere anyway. People like Emma aren't even going to get in this fight, it looks like. Hey, dogs. I know it wasn't a kill or anything, but still. Yeah, sure, shoot back, why not? Just soften him up for whoever wants to kill later. You got beat code anyway. Of course it didn't matter, because he just whiffed. Dick! <laughs> I gotta say, I feel your guys' pain. I know what it's like to flail against a vastly superior opponent. With inferior suits. Only 25 XP? Boo. Well, whatever. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to who this was. But since the music's still the same, it's gotta be... Uh... Amu.
Eat a dick! Dorks are gonna get shot so good. As soon as we actually get close. <laughs> oh, Garrotine's 13 now. Nice. Shit, we got plenty of energy. Let's just shoot him. Use energy, anyways. Ammo. Apparently, it's got its own battery. <laughs> this is probably the easiest mission so far. <laughs> it's not even close. Be a short one. I don't think there's supposed to be any reinforcements either. Is anybody even a tiny bit hurt? Perfect. Hey! Take shots at you. If I just throw you right in the middle of these assholes. Saw this boy in half. You know what? Screw it. Mm. Uh, we, we can't get him this turn anyway, and plus we don't want to kill him this turn, so it's okay. We'll bag this boy and be done with it. I think that pretty well for just getting shot down. <laughs> like, oh, you know, I'm dead. It yeah. wasn't a horrible use of it. Not too many tempting targets left anyway. I don't want to throw him in yet. He can dash anywhere.
I'll get them a little bit closer. And I'll get him just a little bit closer because... Meh. Okay, everybody's gone. You... Why? <laughs> just why? I mean, thanks, you're making my life easy, but... Why? <laughs> Some of these battles have been really hard so far, and this one has been a joke. God damn it, I'm broke! <laughs> Stop! Stop killing everybody! No, oh, he leveled up anyway. Eh, yeah, that's more like it. I mean, he'll be fine. Even if he gets hit. At least he should be. Oof. Okay, ow. <laughs> Little TLC from Fod, he'll be just fine. I mean, at least this makes more sense than Amuro. Yeah, the Alex has no armor. I guess that's why everybody's going after it. <laughs> it stays alive simply because it's just fast. And armor is piloting it. Aside from that hit that armor took us the most damage we've taken in this battle. And that's not that's not much. Oh, that's because we have this boy here. I don't have any more good lucks left, do I? Yeah, whatever, kill him. <laughs> you were the last Dom, dude. Emphasis on the war, war park. God, we're gonna be done with this battle in less than an hour. Holy shit. And that's even with the the technical snafu. Right, why are you only level eight still? Why you make my life hard? I could have Getter Team kill him. Okay, first of all... Wait a minute, let's, let's concentrate. Whoops. Uh, who else has TLC? Amu does. But she's out of MP because I used it all. Uh, you gotta excel. That's fun. Hit this boy. Hmm. This is gonna hurt, I imagine. No, oh, well. <laughs> this is stupid. This is a bad idea. This thing is made of tin foil. Fight me! <laughs> I'm gonna guess like 2,000 plus damage. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> Very surprised. Named NPC versus Co in a in a royal roll of tinfoil. That should have gone way worse than it actually did. Oh, 
Poor Emma, she can't get close. Alright, Emma. You little boy here. He does have Valor. I don't know if he'll even kill... Well. for money with getter team like should I give them experience or, or should I give somebody XP from mash or should I get money I kind of need money and yes I meant to bring him down to 10 Check our chances to hit. Nobody else nearby has uh, great effort, so I guess I'll just give it to Chris. Amu needs XP, but she's not going to have any trouble getting it. She's got a way better mech. Okay, concentrate. Great effort. She's not going to make it to the end game unless I decide that she's a better candidate for the Methus. Because she does have really good uh, support abilities. And Concentrate does help. Another two levels for her. hit? That's a question I forgot to ask myself. And we have no SP left. We burned it all on Hero earlier. What's our chance to hit? Mmm. Crap. <laughs> it's what it is. You! Fight me! Can you fire back? Yes, you can. We'd be fine, but just in case... Hmm... He sure does have a lot of good abilities. He has great effort. He has money. Yeah, it's Valor. Okay. Um. All right, Amu, darling. Actually, you can fire from here. Can you hit? 
Not the best chance to hit I've ever seen. Whoops. There's not a massive power difference, but then again, she's she about shooting. Is this worth it? She'll be saved by her armor. Let's give it a go. Or about her beam coat. So still take damage, but come on, darling, hit. This boy is making us work for it. Oof. She's fine. Let him have it. I forgot to check and see if his melee was better. Uh oh. Uh, not great damage anyway. Ow. If he gets hit, he's gonna have to defend. Yeah, it's a mahawk! Um, you have Valor for it. You're only level 9. Can't Valor in money. Okay, you have a way better chance to hit than fucking get her team. It's Valor, Flash. Get in there. With a beam saber. See how much damage you can do. That sucked. <laughs> Straight up, that sucked. <laughs> now that was melee and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, shooting's a strong suit. What about old Dick? His shooting is definitely better. This is a much stronger weapon. With higher skill. He has no problem hitting. Mm. 
I think we still have Flash active. Get to Tomahawk! Well, that's a shit chance to hit. Well, let's try. Tomahawk! Hey, it! Ooh! Time to end you! And this will save us a turn. Okay, we don't need Devour now. I, I might as well do both. <laughs> Any other stuff we can do? There. Goodbye, Mash Mirror. Unless something goofy happens. Still enough to get him a level and some, there's some cash. Eh. Wasn't a total waste. Who's only level six? Oh, that's a uh, uh, Lilith, I think. Carlos says, says that the DC had no sense uh, attacking them when they're at war with Poseidon. Armour says that they seem to have forgotten that the original purpose of the DC was to defend Earth from aliens. Bright tells everyone to get in their places. They're entering, entering the atmosphere. Meanwhile, Hero tracks their movement and sees that they're going for Jabro. He sets his course to follow them. However, there are alarms and he gets attacked by air defense systems. <laughs> Yadi. His fifth thruster is disabled and it throws off his re-entry. Yeah. Did you expect like a military base like Jabro to not have anti-air? I mean, I know their anti-air didn't do a very good job in Zeta, but still. <clears throat> On Earth, Relena Dar Darlian sees heroes falling in and thinks he's a f it's a falling star. There's a shake, and oh, they're they're just in. Uh, Mexico? I get. I mean, it's barely Mexico, right? Yeah. It's, it's either like the southernmost tip of California or like the most northwestern tip of Mexico. It looks like Mexico. Uh, really, this is that fell nearby. Her butler, Pagan, asks what's wrong. And when he learns about the comet, he tells her to evacuate. Really, it says it's fine because it fell in the sea. But Pagan is worried that with all the strange happenings and Poseidon attacks, or with all. Oh, he wants her to go to a safe place immediately. Lena says that her father told her not to leave this place until he returned. She then sighs at another war happening, and she wants to live in a peaceful world. Okay. Do I feel like doing another part today? Um, almost nobody's here right now. It's a bummer. Fizz didn't make it. I think it was Fizz, right? That said he was going to try and show up. Hmm. Well, I gotta do um, upgrades anyway. So, I will cut it off here for now. We'll see what's gonna happen here in a little bit.